Battlefield 2042 has been live for two days, and I put about six to seven hours into it. First, I'd like to point out that I've been playing Battlefield since Battlefield 3, and played the Battlefield 3 beta, the closed alpha test of Hardline, the BF4, BF1, and the BF5 betas respectively. I kind of want to talk about the negative things first, and due to the beta kind of being in rough shape. I know this is a two month old build, but I feel like DICE should have given us a newer build to test instead of an inferior one. But again, DICE does not have a good rec track record for their betas. Most if not all had problems that continued over to launch. BF4 is a prime example. BF4 had spawn issues, server issues, gun issues, and, have it, and just really being a poor experience at launch. It took DICE probably about 6 months to fix all the issues to make it into the game that it is today. So coming into this beta, I had high hopes of it being good, but at the same time, being weary of the track record. I do want to say though, I really did enjoy this beta and I cannot wait for launch. So for now, let's get into it. The first thing I want to point out are the terrible spawns. Holy crap Batman, the spawns are horrid. I can't count the number of times I spawned on a flag and got immediately killed by an enemy before even getting the chance to move. I really could never understand this. It's not the first game DICE has made, especially in a game mode like Conquest. One would assume at this point the spawns would be get better. The area of the zones are huge, you could spawn us on the outskirts of the zone instead of spawning us dead in the middle of the open. I don't think the vehicles are even usable at this point. When being a gunner on the tank, my screen just keeps bouncing so much I can't even see your aim. The jets are impossible and boring. The heli play was fun, but severely underpowered against troops on the ground, and they feel sluggish and slow to maneuver. I don't think DICE really picked a good weapon combination for this beta as well. Really the only usable gun was the M5. The other rifle and LMG had way too much recoil, the DMR's TTK is way too long to even come close to the M5's. The M5 even just shreds all submachine guns up close, so there's not even a point of touching them. Now obviously there will be more guns at launch, so that should be okay, but DICE really should keep them in the back of their mind for their weapon balancing. Why is there two always coming down? Watching the reveal trailer and seeing the attachments on the fly, I was kind of worried. I liked the idea, but I felt DICE would not implement it the correct way. You know, it would be cool to see an animation when switching the attachments, like for instance, my soldier taking off the red dot and replacing it with a scope or an ACOG sight. But he should at least be switching the magazine when choosing a different one. Right now in the beta, you get a free reload just by clicking a different one. That's kinda broken there. Now DICE should be fixing this and I really do hope that they add the animation to it just to make it a little bit more balanced, but also make it a little bit more, uh, let's say realistic for the person behind the scene. Now the servers, they felt like we were playing on 12 tick servers. Now I'm not sure if DICE has a limited amount of servers being up so my connection was bad, but a lot of times it felt like I was shooting through people while my aim was dead on sight. So I'm really hoping maybe if that is the issue and not, not the servers itself. But I'm really hoping that the servers will be 60 hertz servers at launch. So that kind of gets rid of that problem. Now the last thing I want to talk about for the negative is being very CPU intensive. Now I played this game on my PC. And for instance I have a 5800X and a 3090. And I only could mustard about 90 to 120 frames on low. That's not really good. Also, my PC sounded like a jet engine trying to take off. I've never heard it so loud while playing a game, and I have a 420 millimeter AIO for my CPU. So that really goes to show how intensive this game is. Now on to the good things. Man, does this game look beautiful. I really like the way the game looks. The reload animations are top notch, and the feeling of the guns feel like they should. Orbital was a great map to showcase for the beta, it showed what DICE wanted with different individual battles that take place on the map. The fight for the D flags and the B flag control on top of the building was just so much fun and so intensive. Then you can go over the C flag and try to be more stealthful on the mountaintops and make your way down. I kind of just wish the C flag was more on the mountain just because the battle between C and D just never really took place. It just felt like a running simulator. But other than that, the map was nice. I really can't wait to see what DICE has in store for us at launch, and I really hope they fix whatever thing I set in place, and this game will be probably the best Battlefield game and take over the top spot of Battlefield 4. Thank you for watching.